Imagine that you have an AC light bulb or a DC motor and you want it to turn on and off automatically, not by pushing a button or something like that. In this case, what switch you should use to get the best results? You have many choices, triax, transistors, relays, and some other stuff. Which one is the best for your load? In this video, you will get the answer in details. Please stay with me in the rest of this video. Switches are integral members of any circuit or any electronic product. Because of that, it is critical to know about them and select them with scrupulosity. In a very basic classification, switches fall into two main categories, mechanical switches and electrical switches. The main topic in this video is about electrical switches, but in the beginning we will take a brief look at mechanicals. Mechanical switches are physical switches which must be activated physically by moving, pressing, releasing, touching, squeezing, rotating, and so on. For example, tip switches, slide switches, push buttons, tactile switches, toggle switches, rocker switches, limit switches, joysticks, etc. On the other side, there is electrical switches which do not require any physical contact in order to control a circuit and they are activated by electrical signals and let us automate processes because they do not require human operator to start and stop things and processes. Now it is time to see some of electrical switch components. These are transistors and these are triax and these are relays. Which one of them is best for your project? Answer of this question is depend on many parameters. There are three main factors to choose a switch type for a load. Current type, speed, and signal type. Also, there are other factors, but they are not as important as our three main factors. You must consider these three main factors in order to select proper switch type for your load. Parameter number one. Current type your load works with. For example, this fan works with AC and this solenoid works with DC and this will affect switch type you're gonna use. Parameter number two, how fast you gonna switch. If you intend to just turn a light bulb on and off, then you don't need much fast switch. But maybe you have to dim a light bulb by switching the bulb on and off very fast. In this case, you need a fast switch. And finally, parameter number three, importance of signal details. Sometimes you're gonna switch signals like sounds or videos or something like that. In this case, you have to choose a switch to keep signal shape and details. Now that we consider three main factors, it is time to select proper switch. Before that, let's take a brief look at those electrical switches. First switch type, Triac. Triax are AC switches, they are very fast, silent, and they can turn on or off many times, or almost unlimited. There are many details about Triax, but those details are not related to subject of this video. In next week, I will release a specific video about Triax to cover many details about them. I will cover the best way to connect a Triac to a microcontroller, how to select best part number from numerous options for a particular load, precautions and so on. Second switch type, transistor. Transistors are DC switches. They are very fast, silent, and they can turn on or off many times or almost unlimited. Also, transistors have many parameters like collector emitter voltage, maximum collector current, HFE, whatever. And they are available in numerous packages and types out in market. And it is very important to select proper part number for a particular load. I will cover details about transistor selection in one of my next videos. Third switch type, relay. Last switch I'm going to talk about is relay. Relays can switch either AC or DC and even media signals like sound or videos but they are very slow because they include mechanical parts. They can turn on or off at most 10 times per second and they have limited times to turn on or off. They will lose their quality after a certain number of toggles and they make sounds when toggling, like this. In the same condition, relays are more expensive than triax or transistors. 
you must think about how awful relays are. Slow, noisy, expensive, limited times of switching, blah, 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 blah. I think there is a confusing question. What makes relays valuable? With those disadvantages, why relays do not disappear from designs? In addition to ability of relays to switch either AC or DC, there is at least two other good reasons to make relays valuable. First one is isolation and second one is keeping signal details. I will explain these items in one of my next videos. To summarize this content, I have to say, if your load works with AC, you can use either relay or a triac, but the best choice is to use a triac. And if your load works with DC, you can switch it using either relay or a transistor, but it is better to use a transistor. And if your circuit needs to isolate control section with load or power section, or you have to keep signal details, you must use a relay. In next video, I will discuss about Triax and its application in detail and explain the best way to control a Triax using microcontroller and its precautions. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.